Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Trooper and welcome back to a, another video to show you guys how to set up and install Wraith ARS 2X Radar into your guys' 5M server. All you guys need to do is hit the first link down in the description below, which can going bring you guys right here to the forum.cfx.re page for the Wraith Radar. This is the official page. All you need to do is scroll on down to the download and installation section and click the little hyperlink right here. It's going to bring you to the GitHub page and download the latest version just by clicking the top link right here under assets. Once you guys have done that, open the download zip on up and right here is going to be our mod folder. We know it's a mod folder because if you take a look, we can see we have all of the mod files and most importantly, the FX manifest.lua. That's how you can differentiate between a folder containing the mod and the actual mod folder itself. Now to install the mod, what we're going to do is locate our 5M server. Mine is on my desktop right here. Open it on up, go to TX data, CFX default and resources. It's up to you how you guys install this. You can simply just drag and drop the folder itself into your resources, or you can do what I've done here and organize them all into subcategory folders. Just briefly, I wanted to tell you guys about my new website, hcnetwork.1, which actually sets up a 5M server for you. If you guys cannot be bothered to deal with all the management and having to add in mods and things like that, you can literally just check out my website down in the description below, www.htnetwork.1, and you can set up a 5M server in literally just a couple of seconds using the included auto installer, and it will have already over 120 plus mods. That's custom vehicles, custom maps, custom menus, literally everything you guys can need, and you literally did not have to do anything. So check that out down in the description below, www.htnetwork.1. So subcategory folders will have pretty much all of the mods of that category. As you guys can see here, I have a car scripts subcategory folder and inside of here is all of my car scripts. So all we'd have to do is ensure this one folder and everything inside of here would be automatically running. So it's up to you how you do it, but I'm gonna install it into my existing car scripts subcategory folder. So just grab the folder and drag and drop it in. Now, depending on if you've made a new subcategory folder or you've just dragged and dropped it into your resources, just going to copy the folder name, go back to CFX default 5M, open your civ.cfg, and then simply scroll down to the last ensure line and just type ensure and then paste the name of the server folder because I've already ensured it. I'm not going to bother doing that. And that is it. The mod is literally installed. If we go back to the mod folder and we have a look in here, there are some settings we can mess around with in the config.lua. So we can change usually your keys or a bunch of other things here. And simply just by changing true to false or false to true, that's how you can change most of these settings here. And here is your remote control key. By default, it's set to F5. Obviously, you can change that to whatever you want. And every other key here is also customizable. So check out this if you want to change some things around. And once you guys have done that, simply file and save. And now we can start our server on up. Once you guys are in game, all we need to do is hop ourselves into a police car, press F5 or whatever key you change it to in the config, and then click toggle display once it brings up this little remote here. If we click the green power button, and all we need to do to actually turn the radar on properly is do up, down, and then left and right. That's a really simple way to remember it on what ways to set the radar up. It's always up, down, far left, far right, and that is your radar fully set up. We can also toggle a plate reader radar here as well. If we click that, and click toggle display we can also do that as well and obviously you can also change where you have them around i usually have them at the top of my screen like this around by here since it doesn't really block anything in my way and you can also change some of the ui settings such as the scale and the safe zone which is how much of a room it leaves around the edge of your monitor it's really up to you it's pretty customizable and obviously there's also a help here if you guys are confused with some key bindings but it's pretty simple and pretty easy and as we drive around here and we went around some AI cars, you would be able to see the speed that they are doing. It's a really, really great script and it's definitely a necessity in an RP server if you guys are doing so. But if you guys are in the market to set up your own 5M server and need a 5M server host, or you guys are wanting to set up a 5M server without any of the fuss, you can check out hcnetwork.1 where we offer a auto install application. We will set up the server for you in literally just a couple of seconds. And we also offer 5M server hosting with that. And we'll also set up the 5M server for you as well if you wanted. So be sure to check that out down in the description below at hdnetwork.1, www.hdnetwork.1, down in the description below. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Cheers, and goodbye.